Hey folks, it's Greg and Janet with Strange RV Tours and today we have a beer review for you. The beer we're going to be tasting is a Carbach Brewing Company Light Circus Hazy IPA. <laughs> and Carbach, I believe, is brewed in Houston. Yes, Houston, Texas. Let's see what it says on this can here. It says, Feel Good Machine. Flavor explosions for the love generation. Carbox Light Circus is a feel-good machine churning out dreamy flavor from hoppy to fruity to tropical and back again. The hazy IPA radiates positive vibes so you can chill out with the zonk outs and remember the time you enjoyed. Wasting is never time wasted. All right. <laughs> so don't get wasted. Yeah. <laughs> This, uh, it's a hazy IPA, 6% alcohol, and only 20 IBU, so it's not going to be overly hoppy. So, mm. I don't know about that. I really like that hoppy yeah. flavor to it's it, going to, to be a, a girly an IPA. Beer. So, yeah, let's it's, check it out. It's going to be a girly beer. Yeah, it's kind of a 1960s psychedelic can. I don't know, yeah. Make a yeah, circus, of course. Let's they pour were... this rascal and see what kind of smell we got. Ah, I'm not very good at pouring today. Oh, wasted. See? You're... Not yet. <laughs> All right. You want to put a nose to it, Jan? Yeah. It has a yellow... Hazy look. It's kind of straw look to it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's definitely hazy. Mmm, I see. Pineapple, citrus, mmm. Can I smell it? Yeah. I tasted it yet, but it, I bet it's gonna smell. I mean, it tastes like it smells. I'm getting a lot of grapefruit in it. Yep. And yeah, pineapple too. Very mm. citrusy. Mm hmm. Making my mouth water. Okay, am I doing it? You go for it. That's grapefruit. Yeah. It, it had a nice head on it to start, but the head's going down pretty quick, and there's larger bubbles, and it's yeah. a very white head. Yeah. That's. Yeah, you don't have the hoppy, hoppiness to it. And the head is not lasting very long either. Mm -mm. And it's really not lacing that much. Mm hmm. So, all it's right. Very light. I get, yeah, I get fruit. I get citrus. I would you, say it's, I, I would say it's medium body, but it does have a, a lighter feel to it. Yeah, it doesn't have the, the hoppiness, the bitter. Um, it's, yeah, you're right, and it definitely is not a full body beer. Um, it tastes like a light beer. It's like a, yeah. It's like. What is that, mango or something like that? I'm know. still getting a lot of grapefruit out of it, but it just... I have pineapple and grapefruit. It's an IPA that doesn't taste like an IPA. It doesn't yeah. have the amount of hops that I would really like yeah. for it to have, which the hops does add a lot of body to it. And it doesn't... It's not a full-bodied beer. It's just... I'd say it's, it's very, medium to light. Mm -hmm. That'd be um, a good uh, hot day, summer type beer. Don't you think? I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. It, it really doesn't even uh, taste like a beer to me. Really? Yeah. I, I, yeah, it's... It says light, like circus, and it is light. What are the uh, calories on this? Does it say? Probably no, not. No, they never say calories. Yeah. It's only what twenty IBU. Yeah, that's obvious. Well. Yeah. Um, it's six percent. I'm disappointed. It's kind of bland. I'm disappointed. I um, had high hopes for that. I thought it was, you know, even I do get the the 
grapefruit and pineapple from it. But more oh, in the smell then... than the flavor. I don't even get a real heavy aftertaste of, of the, the fruit. Yeah. Um, hmm. It's kind of a bland beer. Yeah, so as far as, what would you pair that with? Salad? <laughs> Chicken salad? <laughs> Maybe a taco salad? <laughs> you know, I might, I, I would, honestly, I would probably pair that with fish. Yeah, there you go. But, um, I wouldn't order it with fish. I'd yeah. say it's probably something that it would go well with. I just, I'm not impressed with this beer. And that's a shame. I had high hopes for this one, but, uh, hmm. let's see if it has a date on it. Bye. 12, 6, 22. So we're within the time frame. And, uh, yeah, I just, uh, not it's, a, it's not a, a beer. beer. It's just I mean, a it's beer. not, it's not bad, but mm -hmm. to me it almost tastes more like a, um, a big production brewery, like there a, you know. like a, a bush or, yeah. or, you know, Coors or something like that mm -hmm. making, trying to, to make a, a craft beer. Um, but overall I wouldn't order it. I just wouldn't. No, it, I'm know. not, a, you know, there's nothing special about it. When you and I do go somewhere, like to a brewery or something, I always try to go after, pick out the beers that I think are going to be the big full-bodied flavored beers, because that's the fun mm -hmm. of going to a brewery, trying something new that, that other places may not have. Right. And this wouldn't interest me. No. Nope. This wouldn't. No. Nope. So. We got to remember this one so that we don't order it. <laughs> if somebody has it on tap, you know, but... We know not to buy this psychedelic can. Yeah. <laughs> Zero to a hundred, I would give this beer sixty-two. I think fifty. It's just like there's nothing. I mean, it's it's drinkable. That's it. Yeah. And shoot, somebody could drink a bunch of those in one day because it is a kind of a light beer. It's a six, but. But. Um, at the end of the day, would you rather drink something that smells good, but doesn't taste like what it smells, mm -hmm. or would you rather drink something that you really enjoy? Really. So, yeah. um, I'd say it's yeah. an <laughs> average beer at best. Yeah. Ditto. Anyway. Yeah, but if you like IPAs and you want to tell the, to you want to try to see the difference in range between a IPA that has a lot of hops in it and an IPA that has very few hops in it, this wouldn't be a bad one to try. Yeah, it's hazy. You can't see through it, you know, but, you know, even the the head dissipates right away. Yeah, well, you can see you don't get, when you mm -hmm. swirl it, you see the lacing there and watch how fast it dissipates. Yeah. It's just not sticking to the glass at all. So there's so. nothing much to it. Yeah. Very average beer. I think they put more time into the can than they did the beer. Maybe they tell the song. <laughs> so. No, it's all right. I mean, it's a beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it is it is what it is, I guess. So yeah. you can't have a great one every single time. Sure. But anyhow, folks, we hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Stay away from all those terrible, terrible, terrible buttons. But you can hit the little bell down in the corner so you get notifications. And until next time, folks, enjoy a great beer. Bye-bye. Strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV too Come along, won't you join us, friend? As we discover what's around the bend. Just sit right back in your easy chair. Strange RV Tours is on the air. Strange RV Tours is on.